guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be sharing with you my super easy wash and go but before we get into that I wanted to do a quick length check and show you guys what I'm working with so in the front of my hair this front section has always been a lot longer so I'm just gonna take a front piece right here and pull it forward so it comes right here about mid chest So that's where the front is. I'm just gonna take a piece over by my ear, which has kind of been tucked in. And these pieces are a little bit shorter just of how my hair is cut, but they come right above my left boob on this side. I don't know if you guys can see. And then same over here, I think it comes right above my right boob. Or breast, breast as it is. And then the back is the part that makes me so excited because it is a little bit longer and it does show me that my hair is growing. So let's see it. So that was nothing formal, not like I said, a t-shirt length check or anything like that. But I wanted to give you guys an idea of how far I've come. I've been natural for three and a half years. This December makes four. And I haven't done a length check on my channel at all. So my hair is growing. <laughs> That's what I get, <coughs> get for being cocky. Anyway, I do need a trim. I will get that at some point within the next few weeks. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well as hit that bell notification so you never miss when I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get right into this wash and go. So today's wash and go is going to start out with dry hair. I'm going to take a small section and separate it from the rest. And then I'm going to saturate that section with water. I just use a regular old spray bottle that I got from Target. And I soak all the way from the root of my hair to the ends. Once the whole section is saturated to my liking, I go in with my leave-in, which is by BioCare Labs. And I will have a link below to where you can find the leave-in, as well as another product that I'm going to use at the end of this video. Once that is massaged all the way through, I take my Demon brush and I detangle the section from the ends of my hair to the root. And when I'm doing a wash and go, I like to make sure that it's completely detangled. That's why I use my Demon brush. Next, I'm going to saturate that section with Eco Styler Gel. Now, I do not play when it comes to Eco Styler Gel. I don't mind using a lot. Some people are like, oh, they only want to use a little bit or it leaves the, their hair crusty and like tight and chunky for me it doesn't do any of that so i just saturate to my liking separate get into the root get all the way through the tip and figure rake the product through once it's all in my hair and it's saturated from ends to roots i combine that with the rest of my hair and then i like to move on to the next section So here I'm just repeating the steps, separating a section, and then I'm going to saturate that with water, add my leave-in to the ends, and massage it up to the root of my hair. And then I'm going to take my Demon brush and detangle that small section. Once that section is detangled, of course, I saturate with my good old olive oil eco styler gel. And I just finger rake that through until I like it, and then I'm all done. So I of course like to finish the style with some sort of oil or some sort of sealant. Today I'm going to be using another product by BioCare Labs. It's their daily moisturizer and it works perfectly with Eco Styler. I don't have any cast or any white flakes or anything. So I really like this. It's actually really sticky which kind of looks funny and it feels gross on my hands but it makes my hair feel so moisturized. And I'll continue this throughout the week um, as the days go by and the wash and go gets older. I'll just add this daily and kind of fluff and stuff when I wake up in the morning and then once this is all over my ends and all over um, my root in the front and back of my hair I just do my edges and kind of create a part I did that off camera you know you guys can do it to your liking if you wear a middle part or side part and that's really it 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. As always, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.